Senators are merging from two classified briefings with more questions than answers. That's not how it's supposed to go, guys. So they say the White House is lacking key intel on the aerial objects shot down over the weekend and on China's intentions behind their spycraft. Both parties are pushing for more transparency, while reports say President Biden is considering a speech before he leaves for Poland on Monday. So Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell joins us now. I know you can't divulge anything that was classified in the briefing, but I'm curious, based on your experience in Washington, how unusual do you find it that the commander-in-chief, after shooting down three, four objects out of the sky in the past few uh, ten days or so, hasn't spoken on it at all? It's uh, per perplexing. <laughs> we, we've been in these uh, briefings, as you suggest, but uh, they don't seem to know anything. So we're anxious to hear what analysis, if any, they've been able to achieve on the Chinese uh, balloon and to just get a sense of what these other three actually were. I mean, I've never been in briefings where I learned so little. If the president knows a lot more, it's time for him to tell us all about it, including the American people. And what of the what of the posture going forward? Is this going to be something that they do regularly if they're able to tell you? And that's quite expensive, right? If, if we're using Sidewinder missiles at $400,000 a pop. Yeah, I mean, what, what is the game plan for protecting our skies? Um, you get the impression they were quite surprised by all of this. Uh, that would suggest that maybe we need a new plan to protect our own uh, airspace. Uh, but the complete absence of any useful information has been what has been most on display here uh, over the last uh, week and a half. So I hope the president will say something to the American people. Uh, I hope it goes far beyond what we've been able to glean from these so-called classified briefings that we've had over the last week or so. It looks like that just from reading that the um, many in the foreign policy policy establishment, especially on the left, are encouraging the administration not to get too mad at China about this. And Secretary Blinken might actually have an opportunity to talk to uh, one of his counterparts in the near future. What do you think the Biden administration should say to the Chinese? Well, look, the Chinese are clearly an adversary. They've teamed up with the Iranians to support the Russians in Ukraine. And um, they're not... <laughs> being helpful on anything I can think of in the national security space. And of course, we've had long-standing challenges with them, with our commercial interaction, with them mm -hmm. stealing our intellectual property. The Chinese are not our friends. I think the Secretary of State, if, if the meeting does finally occur, uh, needs to be pretty forceful. You're about to depart for the Munich Security Conference. This is a very important time for Europe to be thinking about what is happening uh, in the war in Ukraine. A year ago, when this conference took place, the war hadn't started yet, and there was still hope that Putin wouldn't invade. Take a look at this poll here we have uh, from, uh, let's see, AP. Biden's handling of the war in Ukraine, hardly any confidence at all was at 43% and only some at 37%. While we're watching the Russians try to make more advances, and we're listening to the Ukrainians saying they don't have enough ammo, and even our Defense Department is saying we might have to figure out a way to get more funding so that we have enough ammo for ourselves and to give to allies like Ukraine. What is Biden's responsibility in trying to make sure that people in America whose support for Ukraine is softening will want to continue to try to help them? Well, I'm going to try to help explain to the American people that defeating the Russians in Ukraine is the single most important event going on in the world right now. It will save us an enormous amount of money down the road if the Ukrainians can succeed. They're not asking for any of our personnel. They're asking us for financial help. The Europeans are stepping up. They've done an awful lot that seems not to be recognized. For example, handling enormous numbers of refugees. In terms of the cost of it, Dana, it's about 0.02% of our gross domestic product. We are also monitoring very carefully the money that's being spent. There should be a bipartisan support for this. My biggest criticism of the president is he seems not to have done enough soon enough. Had he moved more rapidly, we might have been able to help the Ukrainians have even more success than they've already had. But it seems like these weapon systems 
tend to get there a little too late uh, on, on every occasion. Exactly. I'm sorry, I'm sorry public opinion is sliding, but I want to reassure the American people that this is enormously important. We need to stay together on a bipartisan basis in our country and defend these people who are bravely fighting uh, for freedom and for democracy in Ukraine. All right, Senator Mitch McConnell, have a safe trip overseas. We appreciate Thank your you. time.